Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, Jen Gianni here. So good to be with you and my beautiful friend Amelia is our model today. She is due January 24th. Yeah. <laughs> so we have her over the foam arc barrel, which for her feels really good and supportive. Now, it's not going to feel good and supportive to every pregnant client. So you really want to take your pregnant clients as individuals, right? And really check in, keep having that constant conversation with them about their comfort. And one week, this may feel great and the next day or the next week it may not so please just make that um, a real tenant of your um, work with your pregnant clients that you keep that conversation up all right so today this first video is going to be the jiggle <laughs> on the spine corrector and this is really to send a message to the fibrils of the fascia to help them to reorganize and to also create a rest and digest situation for the pregnant client. So for your client, this is just a time to hang out and relax. So first what I'm gonna do, she doesn't have to straighten the leg, but I'm gonna take her thigh and I'm gonna elongate it. And then I've asked her to please communicate with me if something doesn't feel good. If she needs the leg to come a little bit forward or a little bit back, I'm lining it up right now where the hip is in line with the heel, and I'm giving some gentle traction on the leg. I'm not doing a whole lot. It's like I'm holding um, a, a little baby here, <laughs> the baby of her leg, gently, and just giving it a little bit of back and forth. I can also go side to side, which I'm feeling like her body is liking much better. And I'm also feeling that I wanna support her knee a little bit more. So I'm bringing my hand and my forearm underneath and I'm just gonna go side to side again. And we're not gonna do it here, but seriously, you could actually do this for 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. And what you would feel throughout is that there would be more movement happening in and around her pelvis. This might really help to create that Goldilocks right amount of mobilization in the sacrum. You could feel more action, more movement in the lower leg foot and up through the spine into the shoulder girdle, neck and head, because everything's <laughs> related, right? If our thorax and our head and our neck are not balanced, if we're too clamped down in that area, the pelvis is just not gonna work optimally. So we're not doing that for um, as long as we should. Minimum, probably about four to five minutes, but you could go as long as 20 minutes. Now, Amelia and I are friends, right? I've been training her for a long time. And so the issue of touch with us is okay. The thigh is usually gonna be just fine for everyone, but you still need to communicate that with your client. Um, but for Amelia and I now, and I've already set this up with her and she's okay with it, I'm going to put a hand or fingers lightly on her sits bones and then my other hand lightly at her hip bone. And again, I'm going to do that light little jiggle. Again, like you have a, a baby who's having trouble sleeping and we're just trying to gently, gently soothe it. Now at first, you may not feel much movement, depends on the positioning of the mama. Um, but again, you can do this up to 20 minutes. And we're over a barrel. You can definitely, and this is traditionally done, just on the side, on the floor, without the barrel underneath. So you can definitely do this there also. And I can go up and down a little bit, but I'm thinking side to side, I'm getting much better um, results. So I'm, I would keep doing that for like another 20 minutes, <laughs> but we're going to let that go. 
All right, good. So give this a try with your clients. Remember, very gentle. It's almost like a whispering touch. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.